Trade time, Series Zero mess ups all the way up. If your introduction to ReZero was via the anime, you can be forgiven for getting completely the wrong idea about it. Anyone looking at the part and figures will assume it's a physical Esekai series where a random Joey Kurtz avert the potential best girls to his part hearts content and maybe slay some monsters along the way. And yes, they are best girls and they are monsters, but there's also death, more death, full psychological breakdowns, and the time we watch the end credits roll will start staring at a frozen, decapitated corpse, which also counts as death, I guess. With the second season upon us, we can look forward to much more horror in between the cuteness and more romance. Before that, the praying tribute to just a handful of the times ReZero messed up, us up. Even I caught up to season 1 or haven't read the light novels, beware spoilers. To his point, you probably want to catch up as quickly as possible anyway. The first death. Compared to future deaths, one of the which is coming up next. The first go around in ReZero is pretty tame. But for new viewers, it was the moment they realized something was very different. We just had an episode on Underworldly Antics, with the awkward Subaru falling in love at first sight with the half elf, and eventually come to know as Amelia, with the per perfect mad cute quickly turned deadly, and everyone everything was fine. Well, except for the fact that Subaru, who you had to start over with Satella, not only were viewers suddenly aware that something was very amiss in this world, but also had to deal with the knowledge that Subaru and Amelia's adorable first day together was lost to the ages, John it is not the only things lost to the ages. Rem dismembers Subaru. Things were starting to go well for Subaru again. He had the promise of a date with Amelia. He was working in the mansion alongside a pair of cute maids, and he got to teach everyone radio calisthenics, but things were as rosy as he assumed. And never are. Subaru soon discovers that his favorite twin maids were armed and dangerous. Not just that, they were out to get him. While Ram will eventually confront Subaru, it was Rem who went to town with her morning star. As before, when Subaru couldn't see his attacker, he dismembered limbs, caught some impressive and horrifying air. He may have to leave in her memories of seeing everyone, and cares about dying multiple times, but he's also got this one star away in his memory. Episode 15 is a wall. Oh boy. Episode 15, the outside of madness, more than earns its title, with Subaru kind of tonic for the sheer amount of horror he's endured. His entire world begins to fall apart, and make matters worse. He has his first run in, where petal juice of the witch's cold, a nightmare in and of himself. We see Rem magically mangled, giving the last of her strength to free Subaru from Petal Juice's chains. We end the episode with a nightmarish visual of Subaru's headless, frozen body becoming progressively more buried in a snowstorm, to be followed by another return by death. Meaning, meaning he gets to start yet again, and as usual only he knows the horrors he's seen. Readers of the Re Zero Light novels know that Season 2 premiums promises even more weirdness. For the rest of us, a new season brings more questions. Are we prepared? How will Subaru die next? Who's Rem? All these and more kicks of the day.